the other way of accessing sputum or respiratory secretions in small children who tend to swallow it is to collect it through the stomach and that can be done if the stomach contents are not mixed with any food articles which means we need to do this procedure after either an overnight or a few hours of fasting so often we call these children after an overnight fasting put in a tube into the stomach and collect all the secretions which the child may have swallowed during the night we call this procedure as either gastric aspirate or sometimes since the aspirate alone will not be enough to get the material from the stomach we may have to put in some saline to lavage it so it is also called as gastric lavage in this clip we learn about gastric aspirate or gastric lavage to begin with explain the procedure and take consent from the parent or guardian patient should be fasting for 4 to 6 hours prior to collection procedure in an admitted child it may be done early in the morning while the child is still asleep and in bed instruments required for the procedure are normal saline pair of sterile gloves rails tube or infant feeding tube adhesive tape lubricant jelly 5 ml syringe sterile specimen container face mask sterile gauze and measuring tape place the patient in a supine position and restrain using the long folded sheets one end of a folded sheet is pulled over the back of the child looping through both the arms as shown the other end is then rolled over the arms and wrapped around the child moving from back to the front and then to the back the low end of the sheet should be reaching the wrist of the patient for effective restraint one could make this measurement directly using the tube or else using a measuring tape the rails tube needs to be placed in the body of the stomach through the nose the required length of the tube to be inserted can be ascertained by measuring the distance from tip of the nose to the tragus and then from tragus to the midpoint between xiphi sternum and umbilicus apply lubricant jelly to the tube gently insert the tube through the nose in a direction perpendicular to the face up to the measured length This can often be assisted by asking the patient to swallow. Fix it to the nose with an adhesive tape. It is important to confirm that the tube is correctly positioned in the stomach. This can be ascertained by pushing some air with a syringe into the tube and simultaneously auscultating for gush of air over the epigastrium with a stethoscope in case the patient starts choking or coughing while inserting the tube then the tube should be withdrawn and reinserted after the patient has settled once the right tube has been inserted into the stomach its position can be checked by hearing a gush of air over the epigastrium we can also aspirate the stomach contents to confirm the position gently aspirate from the tube keeping the patient in the supine position if there is no aspirate or the quantity is inadequate try reaspiration after shifting the patient in the left and right lateral positions If one still does not get adequate specimen in both supine as well as lateral positions further aspiration can be retried by shifting the tube a little in or out in an effort to hit the stomach contents the repeat aspiration should be done while rotating the patient through supine and lateral positions in case direct aspiration fails to provide adequate specimen one should instill about 10 ml normal saline 
through the tube slowly. Align it to gravitate on its own. After installing, re-aspirate rotating the patient through supine as well as left and right lateral positions. Repeat these steps till gastric aspirate is obtained. Collect the aspirate in a sterile container. A specimen is considered adequate if it contains about 10 to 15 ml of stomach contents. After collection of gastric aspirate, gently remove the tube by closing its cap or pinching the tube. Fifty ml conical tube is another type of container which can be used for sample transport instead of the disposable container shown in the video. As conical tube can be put directly into centrifuge machine, it is preferred when the sample is to be subjected to mycobacterial culture and drug sensitivity. This is also the preferred container for samples being sent to national TV program labs as it does away the need to transfer the specimen from one container to another.